side, tipped away. Here comes Bourbonnet, and he's got a man in front of the pack. Shot in, save made by Kanata. D with a great look, and another save made. Rebound, they score! Back of the net, Dante Salatero has made it one to nothing, Allen. Well, couldn't get it the first time. He's gonna stick with it, and he does the second chance he gets. He puts it in the back of the net. 13.05 to go in the first period, 11 to one. Shots on net in favor of Allen and one nothing on the scoreboard. Allen is on top, what a great play. He came in all alone. He had that nice outlet pass, comes up straight through, takes a shot in the league. Can't let him get those opportunities. Breton in, trying to slide it in front, they score! It's Riley Bourbonnet, and for the third game in a row, Riley Bourbonnet has lit the lamp. It's 2-0 Allen. Wow. The Americans right now are just schooling the Grizzlies. This is just so one-sided. It's something that we've not seen a lot of this year, and it's a great thing to see. The Americans' passes are just crisp. They're tape to tape, and they're moving the puck at will. Up and down the ice, 13-1 shots on that 2-0 lead. Not even near the midway point of the opening frame here. 11.41 to go. Bottomos is out of the penalty box for Utah. Over and out of the far side. Breton with a shot. He scores! Oh, is that kid hot? Make that four goals in two games. Five points in two games. And the Americans have a 3 nothing lead. Not a power play goal, Maurice. <laughs> no, no. But it definitely was the result of the power play. Yeah, they had that momentum on their on their side. That, we've seen that happen so many times when a team has a power play. They've got the puck in the other end, and they keep that momentum going. And even when the, the uh, penalized team comes back to even strength, they just can never get the fresh legs on the ice and get that momentum. Knocked away. Over left wing pass. Here they come across the line. They got a man going to the front of the net, and they never got the shot away. Good job by Falkowski. 75 second timeout. Here they come back in again. And a shot, and look at that save by CJ Mudd. And a dominating opening period out shooting Utah. Make that 19 to 4 because pretty much right off the faceoff, Maurice, it's 3 to 1. Yeah. That's uh, exactly what you didn't want to see happen. You didn't want to see the Americans give up uh, a quick goal. and. First minute of the period for 40, Caleb Herbert. And that's the one guy that you definitely don't want to give that two on one. And now it <laughs> three to two as ripped from the outside by Ottenbright. And just like that, it's a one goal game. Two shots, bang, bang, back of the net, three to two. Yeah, Utah did not play very well in that first period. They woke up in the They made it four there, <laughs> but he they opted for the pass dangerous player there's a shot they score and we're tied the three nothing lead is gone and the utah grizzlies on the power play and they're still on the power play with three minutes and nine seconds left to go Breton will chase it back in behind the net and now mott went down look out loose puck and the americans get it ahead to center and it's going to be picked up look out the grizzlies got a two on one Back across, in front for a shot. Oh my goodness! Oh. How did that one not go in? Wow. Did that hit the crossbar? It did, it was bar down, unfortunately for Utah. It did go down into the net. It went, it gave Allen a break there by bouncing out of the net, but you know, that defense. On the Kanata net. And Utah wins the draw, and they put it in their own goal. It's a power <laughs> play goal. They win the face off, and it goes right past Joe Kanata and in the net. And that will be Bourbonnet's goal, Maurice. <laughs> it will be. And his second of the night. And for Bourbonnet, that's his heading towards the far side. Now Boutet got it to Schmier. He'll turn and fire. Knockdown, rebound, they score! Gary Steffes! And Maurice, did you notice who's wearing the C out there yeah. for Allen? It would be Brett Farber. I mean, Gary Steffes. <laughs> Gary Steffi's first of the year. And I'm sure back in Michigan, Mama is smiling. Afternoon at 5.05. .05. Left wing pass for Maloney. Drops it back for Miller. Trying to put it in front for a shot. They score! That's Gary Steffi's. No debate on that one. Top shelf for Mama hides the cookies. And the Americans have a 6-3 lead with 14.59 left to go here in regulation. As the puck goes over now to the far side. 
tip to Herbert, who is playing the near point. Herbert fires it down in the corner, and for a shot, they score. And Freshy with his second of the night. And a power play goal for Utah, and it's back to a two-goal game. It's six to four with 13.05 left to go in regulation. That was a pretty tick. To the outside, Rickard will fire it down low again. Over far wing to Herbert. Works it back outside again. Over now to the far side and near point. It's Rickert up top, thought about the shot, fires it through, bouncing right on, rebound right on, Mott, what a save. That was a great stop by him, that was a point flag. Indeed, as they bring it back the other way, in for a shot, they score. And in the back of the net, it is now a one goal game, six to five, Dickinson puts it home, and don't go anywhere with the loose puck. Trying to get it in front of Pachiro. Pachero turns, shot, he scores. There's number 27 of the year, and that seals the game with 19.2 seconds left to go in right.